Hello guys, this is Jeffrey from Success with WP or WordPress 101.com. Today we'll be talking about how to create links within the same page or uh, anchor links on WordPress using the DV theme. So here's what we're looking at. Like here, when you click this, scroll down to the content right here. And then we'll do the same thing for the buttons here. All right, and another tips and tricks as you can see here is adding anchor links to menu items or links all right so let's get started so first i'm assuming that you already have a page where you have buttons or links and so i'll show you what to do first firstly you will have to add the css id to the target section row or module in this example i'm using a section here so what you have to do is go to the uh, section settings advanced CSS ID and classes. For this tutorial, let's add the tutorial. So, tutorials in here. And as I said, you can also add that on a menu, so, uh, on a row, I mean. So, here, you can add that here, CSS ID. And then, uh, even in here in a module like this blog module here, you can even add that in here. But then, for this, uh, for this example, let's add it to the section. So, here, tutorials. And then, we go back to the button that we want to add the that we want to have the 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 link to so the, the module here settings link and then we have the number sign for hashtag tutorial so we have to put the same css id as uh, where we as the target uh, same to the target content or the target section so tutorials here save and then save and then we can see how that works. So let's exit the Visual Builder. We right click this, new tab, and then here. So now, once you click this, we we'll go down here. All right, so, and then another way is to add a link to the text. So let's say this one, let me edit this. And let's add click here to learn more. And then here, we highlight this. And then let's add insert edit link URL to Torx. Okay, and then save and here, save again. And now, once that's done saving, we can go back to here and then scroll back up and then refresh that. And then click this. And there we go. So that's pretty simple. So now let's go for the menu in here. So let's add a, a menu here that will go back straight to here. All right. So we go to our dashboard, appearance, menus, menus. All right. So let's wait for that to load. And then here, so let's add the custom link here. So for now, what I want to do is to uh, add a link straight to the home page and then to the tutorial so here to tutorials this is here and then we paste that and then we add hashtag tutorials and then link text tutorials and add to menu add to menu so you can play around with this also you can play around with the position you can add it here you can add it at the bottom but for now let's add it to the bottom so here Save menu. Save menu. And then now, let's say for now, this in this uh, page, let's go to the WordPress tutorials page. So we're out of the home page. And then here, so we're in this section now, right? So when we go through and we click tutorials, immediately go down here. And you can see the link here. It goes down. On the home page straight to the tutorial section and yeah so you uh, feel free you can even change the css to whatever uh, css id to whatever you like you don't of course you don't have to make it tutorials you don't have to make it uh, tutorials here and um the css id yep you can change it to whatever you like and uh, that's it so you can uh, you can now add css id to uh to sections rows or modules and uh, yeah, that's it so i hope this has helped if you have any questions feel free to ask and i'll be happy to help and if this has helped you please do like comment and subscribe thank you